Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Envoy Extreme here. Here we're looking at the 60 Billions, Billions Pack by Black Sheep Modding, released on the 6th of June 2024. And as I mentioned in my first mod review video, I was going to do this separately because with 60 items, this is going to be an intense one. And what I'm going to do is, as always, time starts to be down below for every individual item from the buildings, sheep pens, productions, go for all the productions available. But yeah, just as a slum rate, as mentioned, this is the 60 buildings pack by Black Sheep Modding. It is 198.72 megabytes to download, and this is a mega pack of all the Black Sheep Modding's custom items that they've used on their maps. This includes the Campaign of France, the Valley of the Old Farm, and its Pro Deal Center Farm, as well as the first map on FS22, first custom map I played on on FS22, the Old Stream Farm. That was a proper classic map when I was playing on when it first dropped in at. But anyway, so yeah, as mentioned, time starts to be down below, so first of all we're going to go over all the buildings and sheds. And then yeah, we'll translate over to the animals because, yeah, when I was first setting this up, I very quickly realised that, yeah, I'm going to need either a bigger test map than that or bigger areas than that, so yeah, I'm going to do everything separately. But yeah, so let's start off with, first of all, the shed. So we've got 18 sheds to look at. Along with that, we've got a couple silos, bunk silos, and a manure tank in that. So yeah, let's go ahead over here. So yeah, as mentioned, a lot of this is from their, actually all of it's all from their maps and that. So yeah, starting off with, we've got the small shed, three slots on console. And then also got a, another wooden shed. Also three slots on console. And yeah, a lot of this is if you played on the Black Sheep Mod maps, you will recognize a lot of these. But yeah, I'm still going to go over every item as it's like an individual mod in that. And this one is the old European style storage barn. That is four slots for console. Moving on, we've got. This one over here, this is a bit more of a detailed one. We have some nice little animations of the doors. That is nine slots on console. And yep, also got shed lights here. And yeah, what I do is every so often I'll go over it in build mode, like in terms with the cost in that. Then also here we've got the cap shed. So shed with a little overhang there, so store equipment and bells, or whatever as you wish. Move from that, we've got the small garage. So yeah, also the cap shed, that is the little sheds and that. Any of these liftable? Nope. And a couple of them are. But yeah, overall it's not too bad. Also you got your lights here and that. As we can do about Black Sheep Modern, is they make their lights very easy to use in that. And then, yeah, I think lastly we'll go over the big garage before we go over these in build mode. So yeah, unlike with small version, this is only four slots and that's because it's a very simple design. Again, I say it's simple design now, but it is a lot of work. A lot of it is just because of the little assets and that. So, for example, all these crates here, barrels and that, troughs and that. That all counts as the slot count in that, uh, an extra poly item. So yeah, if you'll find these sheds now, we're going to go over under build mode. And go towards the end. So yeah, we've got the small sh shelter we started with. That is 1,000. The other small shelter is 5 grand. The old European storage barn, that is Eight grand. Old European storage barn, sixteen grand. The cap shed, that is eight grand. Small garage, that is ten grand. Big garage, that is eighteen grand. And then yeah, also for the that because yeah, I think yeah these ones if memory serves me right is from uh, the old street farm. 
Oh yeah, with a lot of the other Black Shoe Mons maps, I haven't repeated them on as much of that. But yeah, so we've got a farm barn here, three slots on console. Got a, another farm barn here, also three slots on console. And as always with Black Shoe modding, yeah, I didn't even mention this too much in that because it goes without saying, but I do love the work they've done on it. So the detailing that, like the textures and that. That is all nice. And then I see what our last farm barn here, and that is four slots on console. So a bit of a bigger version compared to the others we've looked at. So yeah, that is these ones here. So that is 15 grand, 8 grand, and 22 grand respectively. And then as we move along. Actually, you need to go back into Bilbo, so this is the large old the large old barn. Yeah, large old barn here. Eight slots on console, and that is 22 grand. Again, level of detailing is great. Also, got your doors and that. And I will go over every door on every shed and that. Light switch on and off. But yeah, it's going to be a bit of a fast paced end, normal beach. Yeah. Just three and four slots. I also got your old e European storage shed over here. And then for your last shed, you've got the Alex Pro Dealer or Pro, Pro Deal Center sh shed that is 10, 10 slots. So, yeah, just go over. So, Farm Barn, 13 grand, 14 grand. 15 grand, 8 grand respectively, 22 grand, and then yeah, lastly is the Alex Pro Deer Shed. So a bit more detail, 10 slots as I mentioned already. Light switches and that. And yeah, as always with everything by that sheet modding, everything has a use, everything has a purpose. Answers an actual function and that. So there's no like fake doors and that or, or fake office buildings and that. So yeah, that is yeah, 10 slots and 50 grand. Now we're moving on to the silos. Moving on to your silos, we've got four silos we'll be looking at. This includes a bunker silo which holds approximately 857,000 years of as I got here maybe you can get around to about 900,000 liters and with compacting maybe push it closer to a million liters and that is two slots on console and you find this under buildings under silos as with all the silos we'll be looking at so yeah 40 grand and as I mentioned two slots goes down to one for your bunker silo also, you can slap these together if you wish. Then on top of that, you got your green warehouse. That is 10 slots goes down to one. Then you got your mini one here. That is three slots goes down to one. So yeah, your mini one is here. And yeah, these are non multi fruits. These hold 400,000 liters each. So yeah, got that one there, and then you got the sort of larger one that has its own like, complex of a silos and that, and a bit more of an option for storage and that. So if we head over here, turn on your shed lights. So yeah, more options to store items because I think when I used to play on the value of the old farm and that, I had this like for example storing like some of our bales and that pallets and that, especially when I was playing on Missy P so the all day and all night now, pretty much. Oh, that was some good fun times in the early days of FS22. And then, lastly, for our silos, we got the Liquid Manure Silo. Six slots on console holds your Liquid Manure Nat. Do ignore the water now, that's just because I'm on No Man's Land. And the water level, as we discovered with my mod review on the all in one scythe, all in one underground facility. Yeah, the water level is quite high, but regardless, you find this under build mode, also silos. 
Yeah, liquid manure that will hold half a million litres. And yeah, it costs 50 grand. And yeah, I also forgot to mention the grain warehouses. Both of these do cost 45 grand, whatever you wish. But yeah, 45 grand for a cider that holds 400,000 litres. Not too bad, actually, very realistic in that. So, yep, overall, not too bad. So yeah, that is all of our silos as part of this building pack. Now I'll be looking at the miscellaneous items. So this is going to be your tools for your main station and your vehicle workshop. And your vehicle workshop. So your workshop is 21 slots. And yeah, as it looks, it's redesigned again. If you played on some Black Sheep Mons maps, this will be sort of like integrated into the other sheds and that. And also you got your main station and that, so for both of these you'll find this under buildings, under tools, so yep. Your main station costs 20 grand, three slots goes down to one. Then that's the for your workshop, very simple workshop, two grand. And yep, slot count is 21, goes down to one. Uh, yeah, so trigger is obviously this little box over here. L3 to trigger that. And uh, yeah, that is the tool sections for the 60 bones pack. Now we'll be looking at the productions houses. And in this pack, you do get four farmhouses that are sleepable. And also, you think you have, I think it's like another four decorative options, not the like decoratives. Yeah, decorative houses. We'll look over those in in a bit and that. But yeah, so your farmhouses on building farmhouses. So you got this one here, 150 grand. That is 46 slots, goes down to two. Then you got this L-shaped one over here, that is 31 slots, goes down to two. And then that's the very similar to what we've just looked at. Four, yeah, 46 slots. Same as the other one, goes down to two. And then you've got your farmhouse, and this is slightly lower at 30 slots compared to 31. But regardless, goes down to two. And yeah, so what I'm going to do is show off these two here. Because yeah, the other two are exactly the same, just the different textures and that. Because of the different maps. So, door to enter. Got your wardrobe over here. Got a nice little farmhouse in that, for like bread in that, little chin out area if you want to watch a bit of TV. Also, a little game center over there. And then, yeah, got your seat trigger. And that is it for the house. There's no upstairs in that that you can use in that, unfortunately. Whatever you choose to store. Even heck, it, like the workshop we just looked at, you can put your workshop in here. So, for example, if I just turn the camera around, yeah, let's go to our tools, go to our workshops and that. And yeah, maybe find a way to integrate all that. Something like so. Yep, I know it hides some of the other stuff now at the back and that, but it's the radiance. But again, that's what I love about Black Sheep Mod it is you can really put a lot of stuff on down and it just suits all together now. It suits with a lot of maps and that. Especially when we go over the productions. Productions are also useful now because they produce items that don't require XML changing to be used with other productions and other mods and that. But yeah, so anyways, got your gate to your farm and that. And yep, seat trigger is over here. And I think there's a wardrobe, yep, just over here. And then that's the, you got your door. So there we go, that is your four farming houses that you can use as part of this pack. Now we'll quickly go over the decorative items. Decorative, decorative items, so under decorations and others. This is where you'll find your four decorative buildings and slot counts are six slots for house one and house four and houses two and three are 
four sorts respectively, so yeah, we'll have a quick look at those and yeah, again, if you're very familiar with some of Black Sheep Modding's maps and that, some they're working at, these will be all very familiar and at the end of the day, these are all just decorative items, but there's mods that I can use and that for people triggers and that, sleeping bags or whatever you wish. And then to go with your like your main farm nats, like with the farmhouses we've just looked at and some of the other sheds. You got your fences and your gates. So find these also under decorative. But apart from on others, you'll go to your fences, go towards the end. And this is where you'll find I forget with all the supreme expansion stuff. Yep. Yeah. So you've got your fences over here, nice wooden fences, pretty much like so, there we go. Then you compare that with a nice fence, and it does have the pillars to go with the walls. Ah uh, yeah, these are one slot on, one slot on consoles for each. Farm that. And again, on the map, like, no Man's Land, where there's no real set vibe in that. Yeah, of course, with No Man's Land, the only kind of vibe you'll get is, I don't know, if you go to the deer ship in that, maybe take some inspirations from the deer ship, or from the road and surrounding lands. For example, looking at that, I'll say that is, again, that's a highway or a motorway. Could be American, could be European. If anything, I would say more of European than that, but again, I could be wrong on that. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, that'll be European, I think. But anyways, sidetrack there. So yeah, that is your decorative items. Now let's look at your productions. The production side of things. There are six productions here, so two of them are exactly the same. So you got the dairy. And the fruit and oil press. The dairy is 10 slots on console. The fruit and oil press is 28 slots. Uh, if we have a look at our production, see how much they are after you place them down. So you'll find it's all under build mode. So yeah, fruit and oil press, as expected, it's two after purchasing. On top of that, you get your sawmill. That is seven slots goes down to one. And the country bakery, which is 14 slots, goes down to one. There's also four greenhouses we'll be looking at, and one orchard in that. So, yeah, first of all, let's head over here to the fruit and oil press. Over here, this is where you can make your delicious adult apple juice. And thankfully, these weigh 200 kilograms. This is by Ulti Black Sheep Modding. I do have this little bells and pallets but that's only for the base game stuff so everything that is modded that you'll see in this section is all liftable pallets and that so yeah go to here and yeah for fruit and oil press you need grapes apple sunflower canoe and olives and from here you get your raisins grape juice sunflower canoe and olive oil but also you can get some apple juice I wish these were adult apple juices, but regardless, I do like these a lot. Oh, yeah, you, and they will work with this. I can't remember which ones I use now, but on Court Farm, that I use the apples on there, and they do work with this. Moving on to the dairy, similar point. This is going to be your pad spawn area, and I've got some yogurts with sugar. Actually, Yogurt de la Firma. Not sure what that means. <laughs> yogurt fermented fermented yogurt, I think. But yeah, from here you can always get your butter, cheese, and chocolate as always. Also you can get your yogurt with sugar. And yeah, decent capacity is like 300,000 years, and these will last a while in terms with the maximum capacity. So it's one of the things where you can just fill up your productions and let it run for a year. No market management off, retain it, you know multiple times a month that you'll get with some productions and that. That's the thing I like about some of these production mods and that, especially the ones here by Black Sheep Modding, is where literally all you have to do is whack in your items and then from there you can just leave it for a year. I don't necessarily want oil, ooh, 
tons of pallets here. I don't always want, uh, you know, unrealistic throughput snap, but have a probably unrealistic ishness of terms with the number of yeah, unrealistic in terms of the capacities and that. But for example, trees here, we've got 142,000 liters. And from here, you get your planks, your pallets, which is used for the greenhouses. So you can store them, distribute them, or sell them. But also, you can purchase the a ton of notes for this mod pack and that. So let's get through this little bell stuff. And uh, somewhere at the end, we'll go across. Um, yeah, there we go. Pallets, a thousand liters. Was it 500 to buy? Three slots goes down to one. But yeah, of course, you can also just purchase these or produce them. And yeah, these aren't decibel actually, my correction. So the pallets aren't decibel. Yeah, planks, I've got this pallets mod, so that's that. But yeah, we got the wooden climbing frame tower, and that is liftable. And from here, you can sell them at the vending machine or the, if I go to the right one, the point of sale for stores and that. But also, as always, if you got the sell everything contained by Schultz mod in, that will also work. So, for your sell points, under production, sell points, go towards the end. So yeah, you've got your vending machines and your point of sale. And in terms with slot counts for those, slot count is for the vending machine, it is six slots, goes down to one. So that's this one here. And then for your point of sale for stores, that is seven slots, goes down to one. So the point of sales will take your clothes, pallets, planks, fabric. Furniture, wood chips, and your climb. All the cakes and that melons, and a lot with other base game stuff. That I do like to see. Okay, yeah, you've got your melons, potato soups, your organs, and that. Actually, have I missed that? Because I have not seen that popping up. Oh no, it is here. Ah, so that's your men tarts and that. But yeah, let's get some of these buildings spawned up. So, what I need to do is sort some of these out. So, bear me a sec whilst I go and sort this out. So you can see, we're sending the pallets. And yeah, we're also sending the climbing frames and that. So, there we go. But yeah, I'll forge quickly show you this whilst I am clearing up all these pallets. And yeah, these do sell quite well, and you do get a decent throughput, so for a little, a little quick deviation, so not you. But yeah, for example, your climbing frames and that, get about, what's that, two, four, eight thousand litres a month? Yeah, it does require 19, 20,000 litres of trees, but these are worth quite a bit. And yeah, each of these pallets are 300 litres in terms of capacity. But you do get a fair bit of them, so yeah, let me finish clearing all these up and then we'll go and look at those Bjorgans. Bunions, I'm not sure how you pronounce them, I'm not sure how you pronounce them, do apologise. But yeah, on top of that, you get your apple tarts and men tarts, and all these come up in, like, again, very similar to how the cakes spawn, but again, I do like the actual touch off, it's actually its own items, and that's actually in there, so. Yep, yeah, had to clear some pallets up. Also, my correction, the climbing frame pallets, these are a thousand liters. Not 300 liters or whatever I said, how they were spawning. So yeah, that is your productions. From here, we're going to be moving on to the greenhouses and this is where it's a little bit complicated. Also, I forgot about these spawning. So yeah, got your lettuce red here. These are 500 liters each. Also on top of that, you get your melons. Again, I like how they look and how black sheep mods like use the lettuce pallets you get normally. And yeah, put melons in them instead. So 
for a lot of these. So you've got your small, well, two different small versions of small vegetable gardens. One just requires water and straw. And the other one, yeah, looking at like this, 211, one, two, one, and 0 0.1 litres of pallets. And yeah, so yeah, pallets are required, but they don't require as much as I first thought about when I first get this all set up. So, but yeah, let's go into our build mode sec. So, under productions, greenhouses. So, so you've got this first one here, which is just the straw and water. That is five slots a sec. So, this one is nine slots. And for the one with the full tunnel, which is pretty much similar to this one here, that is 12 slots on console. So, Moving on to the large vegetable garden, so the large vegetable garden itself, that is nine slots, that requires water, straw and pallets. And from here you get your lettuce red, melons and normal lettuce. Then on to the greenhouse, so the one with the full tunnel. On top of that you can also produce normal tomatoes and lettuces. Decent throughputs in that, also the greenhouse does require manure and fertilizer, so a bit more of a Intensive required production, but in terms of like throughput and that, like no more than a thousand litres of fertilizer and manure a month. You've got cows in that, especially the nine cow barns we got over there, we'll be looking at in a bit. Yeah, that is an easy requirement. So all of it enters here. The pallets, the trigger, is, yeah, it did confuse me a bit, first of all, but the trigger for the pallets is around here, it is. So even though it ain't a clear mark in that, because I'm guessing because there's a trigger for the war in that, like, in terms of the icons can't be in the same place. What I mean is you can't have two of the same icons in one place, but yeah, just to visually demonstrate. So, right about here, place your pads down and they'll stack up like so. Moving on to actually yeah, quickly go over the four tunnel greenhouse here. So yeah, a bit more enclosed. And yeah, this will be where your pats are spawning. Your input for your straw and that is here. And your pallets, pallets is also here and water is just over here. So yeah, so very similar to the other ones, just different positions and I do like the textures in that. Like how it looks. Also, you can close and open these. I do love that sound. Then, moving on to our last production is the apple orchard. So, this will be required for, for example, the apple juice and that, and for your bakery items. So, if we go over those in a sec. So, you have three apple tarts and your bugan brishons. Again, I'm totally if I'm butchering that. Yeah, that will require apple apples on top with normal apples. And yeah, if we could go and look at our apple orchards a sec in the production tab. Personally, I would recommend having a couple of these cracking on. And even though it says 12,000 years of capacity, I did try to put down some of those, uh, the extensions and that. So, this one here, the automatic water for animals and greenhouses. That has like a million year capacity. And yeah, even though the number doesn't go up, the water is like infinite last in that. So, personally, I recommend putting, I'll say, at least three or, f yeah, about two to three or four of these down. Again, they don't take up much space in that. And in terms of slot cams, there are five slots on console, goes down to one. I find these under productions, orchards, five grand. And yeah, very simple. So, if, for example, if you line it up over here, for five grand each, not too bad. Also, apples, this will pass that, lovely jubbly. So, yeah, that is all of the productions, that. And now, with that out of the way, let's move on to the animals. So, moving on to our animal pens. So, first of all, I got our cow barn set up. There are nine cow barns in this pack and they range from 10 to 20 slots on console most of them are 19 or 20 in that the one that is 10 slots is this first one here this is the beef stable and yeah 
you'll find this under build mode and going back and forth with all these cow pens will be involving going back and forth quite a bit so yeah got your stall for your beef cattle and as mentioned 10 slots goes down to one holds 50 cows and yeah your feed input is over here as we move to the side you've got some storage areas for like your bells and that you get two animal triggers so got one on this side also manure spawns on here and there we go so output is here and yeah this is designed for beef cattle hence why there is no in terms with milk output in that and if we go to our animals so go down with the stall with the beef cattle 71,000 year short capacity feed is around what 45 maybe 50,000 years something like that and yeah but if all these pens we're looking at in terms with the percentages of effectiveness are all exactly the same so 100% for your TMR 80% for hay and lastly 40% for grass so yeah that is our first cow barn next we're going to move over to the cow barn so I think that is this one here nope actually if I go into build mode again this is very complicated so yeah just cow barn so yeah go to build mode how I've laid this out so yeah just cow barn here this one is 19 slots goes down to one holds 120 cattle capacity of 50,000 years so yeah we've got your output here for your digesting that not digesting your serving that and yeah got a nice little mon slope section over here also these cows do have a little pasture area dollar box is just over here which seems to be a bit broken yeah obviously i got all these cows in from the animal dealership on the map but yeah apparently that's supposed to be the trigger in that but anyway so feed and short input works perfectly fine over here and yeah your manure is stored out of here and if we go into our animals so our cow barn so we want the one that's got 120 cows in so yeah it's these ones here so yeah straw capacity is about 65 ish thousand years surrey is 50 thousand years animal feed is about a hundred thousand years and obviously I haven't got no milk being produced yet but i guess it's gonna be around about the same capacity as everything else but so yeah no dial box for the oh yeah also got your close your gates here but yeah that animal trigger is i guess guessing broken that because yeah nothing's popping up over here i think that's why i always have to help menu open up and that amongst everything else just to make our life a bit easier than that but yeah struggling for this is over here by the gate oh ah right so the dial box it says it's here for obviously purchasing your animals but it's actually right here by the gate so yeah it's on this side and then into the field also you've got your gates that to come in and out and if you do have any milk it is over here in that so that is your cow barn next we're gonna be moving on to the cow barn without the meadow net so exactly the same one we just looked at so you've got your manure area over here and there we go also dollar box works quite well so yeah this one works fine milk output is over here got options to close your gates and that feed and straw goes in here no issues whatsoever with any of the animal pens and that or at least for the cows and that so yeah go into build mode once again under buildings cows so cow barn without meadow 
and this is 20 slots goes down to 1 holds 100 cattle so very similar to the one we just had but again actually no, that is similar to that one over here scrap that again so many of black sheep moddings mods and that or police walls are so close together so I am going to get some minor errors in that when it comes to these animal pens. And then next we'll move on down to the cow barn. Of course you've got 40 or 60 meter with the meadow. And also without the meadow and that. So let's go to this one over here. So yeah, we just looked at the non-meadow version. So with the meta version, so once again under cows. And that's gonna be Is it that one over here? Yeah, it's this one over here. And this one is 20 slots goes down to one. And also, I think is this the one that's got the fiend robot? I no, it ain't no, it's the one over there, so it's got the fiend robots. But yeah, some of these do come with the fiend robots. But yeah, all these are very similar in that, so at the end of the day, you can't go wrong with any of these animal pens and that. Then moving on, we got this one over here, holds 150 cattle. So this is going to be one of these cow barns, 40 by 60 meter meadows. And again, these are the ones that can and cannot come with a feeding robot. Depending on which ones you're going for, so yeah, you can tell this is one that's got the feeding robot. Yeah, a bit of a lump here when it comes to placing it down. Yeah, I'll just let it place as it is and let the land terraformed as it does. So, yeah, I'll skip ahead for the productions, but in terms of capacities and that, so your mineral feed and that goes into here, which is about a hundred thousand years. And then moving on to your like silage, straw, and your hay. I think they're around like 50 or so thousand years. And they do last like, quite a while to be honest. Again, it all depends on what cows you got, how old you are, and all that other good stuff. But yeah, overall, good quality. Love the animations with the gates. So that is that one covered. So yeah, we're already done that one. Let's head to the cow barn. So once again under build modes and yeah, if we go along here. So this is gonna be the one at the end. This one is 18 slots on console, goes down to a one. And this one holds 250 cattle. And also you can mention there is well, not a you can see there is a small meadow area in that. But yeah, so feed, again, feed straw goes into here. No issues whatsoever. I mean, your spawns over here. And again, I like these now. Again, so it brings the vibes off FS19 where you had to come in and clean up the manure yourself. But of course, you do have your door in here and that, so obviously bring your loaders or whatever you wish. Dollar box is just here. So yeah, we'll go over here. So your story output is on this side. And the one we're on at the moment that is gonna be your milk output. So I think if I close that it's not gonna eventually open up to us, so see so yeah, it looks like a door there that opens, but no, unless we go into here have to open from the inside. Oh no. <laughs> no, but yeah, just bring your trays over and then a job is a good one. As I do a bit of parkour into escaping that. So that one done. We're gonna go with the cow barn. And this is the 40 by 60 meter one with the meadow and the feeding robot. So again, 20 slots on console. On animals. Prices also are very close to that, so it is this one here, right? Uh, 
Oh no, which one was it again? Ah, we met, yep. Just getting that mixed up, so yep. So that's how it is laid out. So, 140 by 60 meters. 150 cattle, just under 200 grand. And again, with all these pens, they're around the 125 to the 200 grand mark. Of course, the beef stable one is only 65 grand. And sort of like your entry level in the way, kind of cow barn. That is 65 grand. No, sorry, 105 grand. And then, yeah, moving up. So, this is the 60 by 40 meta version, but without the feeding robot. So, once again, story output is over here. Ah, yeah, dollar box is over here. Murals on the inside. And all that other good stuff we've looked at. And then lastly, for our last cow barn, this is the cow barn without the meadow and without the feeding robot. So again, the last two we just looked at, but without either of those. So again, many different options to have. I'm actually sorry, this one does have a feeding robot. Let's go to our animals, so... Ah, wait a minute. So it's without the meadow and with the feeding robot, so... Yeah, minor correction there on that. <coughs> yeah, the notes aren't that correct at the moment, but... Anyway, so that's this cow barn section done. Now, bear with me a few moments whilst I get it all cleared up. And then set it up for the rest, because we've got three pig slices of cats, two sheep pens, and one chicken pen to look at. So, let me get those set up now. So, right, we're finally getting to the end of this, and, yep, yeah, as mentioned, this is going to be the pig slice, sheep, and chickens all in one. So, yeah, start off with the chicken coop over here, so... This is from the, uh, was it, the old stream farming that, maybe on some of other Black Sheep Ones maps, but this is what I know it for that. So, this is first results on console, goes down to one. I find this under animals, under chickens. I get 15 grand, holds 150 chickens, except wheat, barley, and sorghum. Yep, yeah, so trigger is just here. Boom. And feed goes in here. You get one egg pad spawn at a time, but I think actually, you know, you should get two spawn. I think I just hit the pad limit. And I can't be bothered to clear all this until I delete everything in that. But yeah, so overall, nice and neat. And it's designed to go with the, the other sheds and that. So, for example, if I can do this the other way around, how I would do it. So. Go under sheds and that. And yeah, I just want to find... You know, something like that. Uh, yeah, was that work? No. Again, it's pairing all the correct buildings and that. But again, this is what I love about production Mine and all this. The fact that you've released this pack now is that you can integrate this into pretty much anything, so... Things like, yeah, even stuff like that it may look a little bit weird, but farm barn that's new. But yeah, I can't find the correct shed in that. But if you played on the old street farm, you know what I mean. That, but yeah, for a very cheap in that chicken coop in that 150 chickens and terms with capacities in that, we have a look under animals, under chickens, the feed is. 4,000 litres in terms of capacity, and the eggs maximum spawning, I think it's 10,000 litres, something like that. So yeah, that is the chicken coops. Now moving on to the sheep barns, and we've got two, so... Essentially what we've got is one sheep barn, as it is, without the meadow. And the sheep barn with a meadow, so... we find these under buildings, under sheeps. So yeah, the one without the meadow, that is 13 slots goes down to one. And the large one is nine slots goes down to one. Essentially these are very identical now, again used on different maps than that. So for the sheep barn, wool comes out of here, 
feed goes into here. And the sheep feed capacity is 11,000 and 500 litres. Also, dial the box. Obviously, you can open and shut the gates as you wish. And yeah, also, you've got areas to store like more pallets than that, so you've got a bit of a, you know, like a take handle on that. Sorry, pallets up there. But yeah, overall, not too bad. Dial the box. Now, moving on to the meta version, so. Again, this will hold a hundred and a hundred sheep of that. So yeah, both will hold a hundred sheep. Same capacity as that, same amount of maximum wool that can be spawned in that. Which by the looks of that, it's I'll say around fifteen thousand euros. Dollar box is just here by the gate. Open and close. And your feed trigger is just over here where we are. So yeah, turn it off a sec so you don't have that rumbling in the background. And yeah, your wall spawns on to here. Overall, <coughs> not too bad. And that is pretty lovely, I'd say. So yeah, moving on to our final animals. This is our pigs, and these are 10, 12, and 12 slots respectively. So, under build mode, under animals, under pigs. So yeah, you've got your three pig barns here, so... You got this one over here, which has a little pig meadow, like a pig side meadow in that. Also has storage for equipment to the right. And yeah, that is 10 slots, goes down to 1. And obviously, if you got the platinum, no, sorry, premium expansion, you can use it for animal feed in that. Got your doors in that. And yeah, once again, black sheep mod in. They do some awesome work with their mods and that, and just a level of detail has gone into it. Also, your end, your tipping trigger that for your feed is just over here. And in terms of the capacities for the pig feed, it is 20,000 years for the food, and 15,000 years for the straw. And what you see is how much they've consumed in that time from when I first placed this down and skipped ahead a few months for it to fill. And yep, yeah, sorry, in terms of capacity, that is, what, about 45, 50,000 years? Moving on to our second to last pig sty. This is 12 slots, goes down to 1. Sorry, output over here. Dollar box, doors. Like so. Let's move back. Okay. Fine, don't work for me, don't cooperate. You cooperate. There we go, this is going to doors here. But yeah, also you've got your shed lights that, turn them on and off. So yeah, tip and trigger that for your straw, and your feet goes here. And they will accept bells and that if you wish. Manure will only spawn with these if you've got a manure pit in that. They won't spawn inside the like pig size bays over here and that, just to note. And then lastly, so this is pretty much exactly the same. The only difference is that has no kind of outside bit, whilst this one has the outside bit. And yeah, this is also 12 slot on console. As quick go over the prices and that again, I forgot to go over the prices, so for your sheep barns and that, they're both 45 grand. For your pig size, the big ones is 45 grand. For this one, it's 40 grand. And for the one that's got the outside bit, that is 45 grand. So, once again, can't open those doors, so you guys go from the other side. But yeah, look at those little piggies for running free in that. No spawns over here in that, for these at least. And yeah, got your doors and that, still open and close as you would. Turn lights on and off. And yeah, finally, that is all of the 60 buildings covered. And this is the 60 buildings packed by Black Sheep Modding. Also, this took so long to do that, I've just heard news on Black Sheep Modding doing a expansion version of their old street farm and that, so... That's just been sent off to testing for giants and that, so that I'm looking forward to seeing that. I may come back onto that 
most likely a personal a personal play through that. But one thing, so I can get my internet situation sorted. I love to do more live streams. I want to do more live streams. That especially when I come home from work, you know, get from work about half four and that. If I finish on four, a lot of the times I finish a little bit earlier and that's in some form margins. But yeah, you know, just load up, play, go live, and that is it. But anyways, that is the sixty bins pack by Black Sheep Modding. That is all the mods for. Thursday the 6th of June 2024 and as always hope you found this helpful and informative in some way shape or form if so smash the button feel free to down below if you want to share some please be my guest if you're not subscribe to the channel yet then please consider but for you to do hope you nice day but for now this will be Farm Envoy Extreme and I'll see you all very soon